how many students are in campus? <laughs> How many students are on campus? Ma'am, many students are there in the campus. Ma'am, 40 or more, ma'am. More than 40, ma'am. More than 40. 40. Okay, so next class I'll take in hybrid mode. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So, okay, ma'am. Okay. 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 Now start the class. In the last class, we discussed about the general things of the anecyclic compounds and the method of the preparation was going on. So next is the... Oh, interesting. Okay, the screen is visible? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so next is the various alicyclic compound. May be prepared by the condensation. between certain dihalogen derivative of alkanes and sodium ethoxide. Sodium malonic ester or sodium acetoacetic ester. So, first example is. Dibromide condensed with the one molecule of the malonic ester. This is dibromide known as the alpha omega dibromide. Then it reacts with the one molecule of malonic ester. Malonic ester CH2. CO, C2, H5. This is malonic ester. When this molecule reacts with the sodium ethoxide, C2H5, ONA, then the active compound is formed. CH negative and positive. CO, C2, H5. Hold twice with the elimination of the C2H5 OH. This is negative, this is positive. So the alpha omega dibromide reacts with the active compound. So what will be the form? CH2, CH, CO, C2H5. Hold twice. CH2Br with the elimination of the sodium bromide. It further reacts with the C2 sodium methoxide. This is negative, this is positive. Further form the active compounds. So one hydrogen is left here. So further removal of the hydrogen ch 2 c Negative and a positive 
COOC2H5 whole twice CH2 Br. Now this negative charge move towards this CH2 and the NABR is yes. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you please explain from the beginning this reaction, please? Okay. So the uh, this is the third method of the preparation of the alicyclic compounds in which the certain dihalogen compounds of the alkane reacts with the sodium malonic ester or the sodium acetoacetic ester. So first example is the alpha omega dibromide reacts with the sodium malonic ester. This is the malonic ester CH2COOC2H5 whole twice. In presence of the sodium methoxide, active compound is formed. Active compound that means the alpha hydrogen is removed <coughs> adjacent to the ester. So CH negative COC2H5 whole twice is formed. A negative charge comes with the sodium positive and ethyl alcohol is eliminated. So the alpha omega dibromide reacts with this active compounds to form. Yes. Ma'am, you have uh, mentioned alpha omega dime bromide. So, yes. but that uh, but that is alpha beta, not alpha omega. Because if alpha omega is there, so we have we will consider it the three carbon alpha beta gamma. No, no. In the ancient uh, nomenclature, these are known as the alpha omega. Uh, okay, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I have written alpha omega dibromide. So uh, this is the active compound. It reacts with the dibromide. So this compound is formed with the elimination of sodium bromide. Here the one active hydrogen is also present. So it has to be removed in presence of the sodium methoxide. Further active compound is formed. This negative charge reacts with the CH2 with the elimination of the sodium bromide. So what will be the product? CH2, CH2, C, CO, C2, H5, whole twice. Now, in presence of the potassium hydroxide and further reaction with the SCL, that means the acidification, CO, C2, H5 will be converted into the COH group. This is COH group. So the dicarboxylic acid is formed. On further heating, the CO2 is removed. CO2 is removed, then what will be the final product? CH2, CH2. CH COOH. So this is your final product. Alicyclic compounds having the carboxylic acid is formed. Okay. Ma'am? Yes. Ma'am, I want to ask which book we should refer to study this these topics of synthesis of alicyclic compounds. I think that is good. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, in Paula Y. Bruce, these topics are not given. In which book? Ma'am, Paula Y. Bruce. Yeah, it, this is also a good book, but in I'll final or all syllabus will be covered. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, please show the previous slide, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now in the second part of this reaction, the alpha omega dibromide condenses with the two, two molecules of the sodium malonic ester. So CH2Br, CH2Br. In this reaction, two molecules of the Melonic ester CH2 
COOC2H5 whole twice. Same procedure, it undergoes the activation in presence of the C2H5ONA. So the 2CH negative NA. And in positive COOC2H5 whole twice. So this reacts with active compounds. So what will be the product? CH2, CH, COOC2H5, here CH2, CH, COOC2H5. Here the Na positive, Na positive reacts with the bromide ion, so the two NaBr is uh, are eliminated. Further, COC2H5 whole twice and this is CH2CH COC2H5 whole twice with the elimination of the 2NA PR. So this molecule have the two hydrogen active hydrogen so it has to be removed in presence of the two molecules of sodium methoxide CH2 C negative and A positive COC2H5 whole twice further CH2 C negative and A positive COC2H5 whole twice <coughs> it further reacts with the iodine so sodium iodide is removed so final product is <coughs> CH2, CH2, C, so one bond is formed. Some okay. students are trying to join the class. Okay, okay. Nobody is here to join the class. Okay, next time anybody come, then I'll accept it. COC2H5 whole twice, COC2H5 whole twice. Same procedure for the reaction with the KOH and acidification. Ester is converted into the acid. So here COH whole twice, COH whole twice. Further heating, then CH2, CH, COH, CH2, CH, COH with the elimination of the two molecules of carbon dioxide. Okay, so this is the method of the preparation for the cyclic, any cyclic compounds by the condensation between the dihalogen derivative and the sodium malonic ester. Okay. Next is the, we are talking about the, it is prepared by the sodium malonic ester and the acetoacetic ester. So in the previous two methods, we use the sodium malonic ester. In the, in this method, we use the acetoacetic ester. So acetoacetic ester may also be used to prepare ring compound. Okay. 
we prepare the gem compounds. Okay, so CH2, CH2, CH2Br, this is also a dihalogen derivative. When it reacts with the acetoacetic ester, this is COCH3, COC2, at H5. This is the acetoacetic ester. So further, it reacts with the sodium ethoxide to form the active compounds. CH negative NA positive. This is COCH3. This is COC2H5. Okay. So it reacts with these active compounds. So NABR is removed. So CH2, 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 CH, COCH3, COC2H5, and here CH2, CH2, Br. Now, further reacts with the uh, C2H5 ONA because the one active hydrogen is present. So, further CH2, 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 C negative NA positive. This is COCH3, COC2H5, CH2, CH2, Br. So, this negative charge attack on this carbon with the elimination of sodium bromide. CH2, 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 C, CO, CH3, and CO, C2, H5. On hydrolysis and heating, then the on hydrolysis COC2H5 will be converted into the carboxylic group, and on heating, one carbon dioxide is removed, so final product will be the COCH3. Cyclohexyl methyl ketone. Cyclohexyl methyl ketone. So this is the another method for the preparation of alicyclic compounds. Okay. So by using the acetoacetic ester, it is possible to prepare only the three, five, six, or seven carbon atom, not the four. By using the acetoacetic ester, only the 3, 5, 6 and 7 carbon atoms are formed, not the 4. Okay. So, uh, when the scientists are trying to prepare the 4 member ring, then always the dihydropyrene ring is formed. Ma'am, please, please repeat the statement. By using the acetoacetic ester, on, it is possible to prepare the ring containing the 3, 5, 6 and 7 carbon atom, but not the 4. 
or attempts to prepare the four member ring results the formation of the dihydropyran derivative in the next uh, slide we will discuss about the preparation of dihydropyran derivative okay now now the dibromide ch2br this is ch2 this is ch2 br when it reacts with the acetoacetic ester i'm directing here the active compounds co ch3 and co p2h5 this is acetoacetic ester so the product is formed dihydro hydropyran ch2 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 br c o c 2 h 5 double bond c ch3 o negative okay so the sodium is removed when it reacts with the bromine NABR is removed. So it is formed CH2, CH, COC2H5, COCH3, and here CH2, CH2, BR. So it has the one hydrogen. So we can write in this form C double bond O point CSC. So one hydrogen is removed. So one negative charge comes here. So it moves this side and this, this side. So this is formed. And this is further converted into the, this oxygen, negative charge, which is present on the oxygen, attack on this carbon atom with the elimination of the bromine. So final product is the, dihydropyran derivative this is coc2h5 and this is cs3 this is dihydropyran derivative okay so ma'am yes. in the third structure after the nabr after the nabr minus nabr so the upper part so c double bond c and just in the upper part c double o. no 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 it's just, just right side right the right first side. part just me. this is this and this here the nabr okay uh no okay here the nabr not here here i have uh, written directly so this is step this is in this way, first and second, okay, and this is third, okay? Ma'am, but uh, in the second, second one, yeah. uh, you C double bond C is there, then the, the, down, the down part of the carbon, that is, is uh, C, that's uh, C double bond, C double bond O and the O is there. So, but there is existence of C double bond, O C double bond, o, and this there is, is also the this is the intermediate product. This is the intermediate product. This is okay. not a, this is just intermediate product. So, I have written to show the mechanism. Okay. Then the final is that the oxygen is not present. I think there is. Okay. Uh, please. Uh, uh, I'm not hearing you. In the final structure, then oxygen should be present, I think. Yeah, yeah. So here the oxygen. Okay. Now the next. Next preparation is the from esters of the dicarboxylic acid. Any cyclic compounds are formed from the esters of dicarboxylic 
acids. So the di diester of dicarboxylic acid, like the adipic acid, imanic acid, suberic uh, acid, like adipic, imanic, or the suberic acids. These are the dicarboxylic acid. Then treat it with the sodium in presence of the sodium with oxide. So intermolecular acetoacetic ester condensation occurs. So first I write the reaction, then discuss the mechanics. CH2, CH2, CO, C2H5, CH2, CH2, COO, C2H5. This is the ester of the adipic acid. Adipic acid is CH2, CH2, COH. This is CH2, CH2, COH. This is adipic acid. On acidification, it forms a ester. When it reacts with the sodium in presence of the sodium ethoxide, then what will be the product? CH2, CH2. CH2, CH, here double bond O, and here CO, C2, H5. Further, on acidification, CO, C2, H5 will be converted into the acid. On heating, CO2 is removed, then CH2, 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 double bond O. And it undergoes the dimension reduction. Then ketone is converted into the CH2 group. So CH2, 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 and CH2. So cycloalkane is formed, having the 5 carbon atom. So this reaction is known as the Dickman reaction. So what is the mechanism of this reaction? So intramolecular chain condensation. Dickman reaction is the intramolecular condensation. Now can you please show the previous slide? Okay. This is the general. Uh, uh, in the next slide, we will I will discuss uh, step by step. Okay, so this is the Dickman reaction. It is the intermo uh, intermolecular condensation. CH two, CH two, CO C two H five, CH two CH two, CO C two H five. Ma'am, this intermolecular, ma'am, this intermolecular condensation is the mechanism of this Dickman reaction. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, in presence of the sodium, so uh, CH two, CH two, this is CH negative, and hydrogen is removed. Here, CH two, here, COOC two H five. And we have C double bond O O C two H five. Okay. Now this negative charge attack on this carbon atom, so CO bond shift towards the oxygen atom to form the O negative. So CH two CH COO C2 H5 this is CH2 this is CH2 this is C here O negative and here O C2 H5 now 
this negative charge move towards the CO bond to form the C double bond O and the C2H5O negative is removed. Okay, so CH2, CH, CH2, CH2, C, double bond O, COO, C2, H5. Clear? Now in the next step, This CH bond, C single bond H bond, so it shifts towards the in presence of the C2H5 O negative. So this bond shift towards this side okay, and this C double bond O this side with the elimination of the C2H5 OH. Now the product is CH2. CH2, C, CO, C2, H5, this is CH2, this is double bond C, and this is O negative. Further, in presence of the H positive, this negative charge to form the C double bond O and this is for, uh, this C double bond C moves towards this carbon atom and CO C2H5 is converted into the COH group. So CH2, CH2, CH, COH, CH2, C double bond O. Further heating CO2 is removed, CH2, CH2, this is CH2, this is CH2, this is C double bond O. So this is formed through the Dickman reaction and Dickman reaction is the intramolecular condensation reaction. For the reaction with the zinc, mercury and SCN, this is the another condensation Clemenson reduction. CO, is, CO will be converted into the CH2 group. So this is the mechanism of the Dickman reaction. Okay. So ester lower than the adipic ester. If the adipic ester we are using, follow the intramolecular condensation Dickman reaction. But if the ester uh, are lower than the adipic, Suppose the ethyl succinate, then the intermolecular condensation we will follow. So, esters lower than adipic ester may form. products by intermolecular condensation and cyclization. Okay. So first, this is not ethyl succinate. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, the mechanism of the Dickman reaction was intramolecular condensation or intermolecular? Intramolecular because the one molecule mechanism occurs within the one molecule. No other molecules are using. That means intramolecular. Okay, ma'am. Okay. In this case... Ma'am. Hmm? In the previous slide, uh, where it was mentioned about the C double O C two H five, and you were just adding the H plus, so after that only the C double O H is there. The H actually... This is the for short form of the hydrolysis. Okay. Okay. This yes, is the hydrolysis. Got it. 
CH2, COO2H5, this is CH2, COO2H5. So, in presence of sodium methoxide or the sodium C2 uh, active compound is formed, CH negative, COO2H5, CH2, C double bond O, OC2H5. So, this is the active compounds. Now, taking the two molecules of this active compounds, we show the intermolecular condensation. So, CH negative, COOC2H5, here CH2, C double bond O, OC2H5, when it reacts with the another molecules, C double bond O, OC2H5, this is CH2, this is CH negative and this is COC2H5. So this negative charge which is present on this carbon atom, suppose this is number 1. Okay. So the negative charge on the first carbon atom attack on this. And this, suppose this is the second carbon atom, it attack on this. Okay. So with the elimination of the C2H5, O negative. So what will be the products? Here the two C2H5 O negative is are eliminated. So the product is CH. C O O C two H five here C H two here C double bond O here C H C O O C two H five here C double bond O here C H two so this is the succino succinic ester succino succinic ester or may be called as the cyclohexane 2,5-dione 1,4-dicarboxylic ester. So this ester is formed. Further hydrolysis COC2H5 is converted into the COH and heating CO2 is removed and further cremation reduction CO, uh, CO ketonic group will be converted into the CH2 group. Same procedure. So, what is the difference? Intermolecular and the intramolecular condensation reaction. Intramolecular condensation occurs when the adipic ester is present in the reaction. So, it will go through the Dickman reaction. But when the ester are lower than the 4 carbon atom, that means the ATP ester, the reaction will go through the intermolecular condensation reactions. Clear it now? Ma'am, please repeat the IUPAC name of this compound. Okay. IUPAC name is the cyclohexane 2,5-dione. 1,4 dicarboxylic ester. Yeah. Okay. Ma'am, in this IUPAC nomenclature, why we are using uh, the uh, why we are using the suffix "one" because there are two functional groups. So, so over here, the priority group should be applicable. No. So, Numbering will start either this side or this side. One, two, three, okay, four, five, and six. So this is the cyclohexane. Yes, ma'am. So two, five, two, and five. This is diode and one, four. One, four position, dicarboxylic ester. So in the uh, last class, we have discussed about the numbering of the cyclohexane and the nomenclature of the 
No, ma'am, I don't have any problem with the numbering. I'm asking that since there are two functional group, so over here we will be using the priority rule, no, of OECS nomenclature. So the one with the higher preference, we will use suff uh, suffix for that, and the one with lower preference, we will use the prefix name of that. For example, in ketone, the prefix name is oxo, so we will use keto or oxo for that. And over here, carboxylic acid is the first preference, so we will use uh, the suffix name for it. Then here, what is तो आपका फंक्शन को किससे अटैच्ड है हमको मेन प्रायोरिटी किसको देना है साइक्लिक कंपाउंड्स को ठीक है साइक्लिक कंपाउंड को देंगे तो पहले किसको देंगे वन या फोर किसी में दे दीजिए ना दोनों तो सेम ही है स्टर ज्यादा है हां तो किसी को भी देंगे यहां से नंबरिंग शो कर दो चाहे यहां से नंबरिंग शो कर दो ठीक है तो आप पहले के साइक्लोहेक्सेन में देखेंगे क्या है ठीक है अभी ना आप करेंगे नो मैम हम ये कह रहे हैं कि इसमें नंबरिंग की बात नहीं है नंबरिंग तो ठीक है वो समझ में आ गया बट यहाँ पे दो फंक्शनल ग्रुप लगे ना तो आई यू पी एस में तब जब दो फंक्शनल ग्रुप आते हैं तब हम लोग प्रायोरिटी रूल लगाते हैं कि जो फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी पे फंक्शनल ग्रुप होता है उसका हम सफिक्स नेम लगाते हैं और जो सेकेंड प्रायोरिटी पे रहता है उसका प्रीफिक्स नेम लगाते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल कीटोन है तो कीटोन यहाँ पे सेकेंड प्रायोरिटी पे आएगा तो इसका हम लोग प्रीफिक्स नेम लगाएंगे यानी कीटो या ऑग्जो ओन नहीं लगाएंगे और एस्टर पर हम लोग सफिक्स लगाएंगे तो मैं हम ये कह रहे थे कि यहाँ पे डाई ओन की जगह डाई ऑग्जो होना चाहिए अच्छा यहाँ पे डाई ऑग्जो हाँ यहाँ पे डाई Fifth method of the preparation is the simple from the aromatic compounds. From aromatic compounds. Okay. So first example is the benzene. When it reacts with the catalytic hydrogenated in presence of the nickel under pressure. Cyclohexane is formed. This is the simple reaction. Another, if we are using the phenol in presence of nickel under pressure, catalytic hydrogenation, same cyclohexanol is formed. So this is cyclohexane. This is cyclohexanol. Okay, so this is the simple method of the preparation from the aromatic compounds. Okay, next is the next is the Simon's Smith reaction. So then alkenes reacts with the methylene iodide. Suppose CH3, CH double bond CH2 plus CH2 I2. Methylene iodide in presence of the zinc, copper or ether act as the solvent. So the product is the CST. This is methyl cyclopropane. Okay. Another example: CS three, CS double bond, CH, CS three. Same reaction condition: CH two I two, zinc, copper, and ether. Then what will be the product? This is CS three and this is CS three. One two. Dimethyl cyclopropane. Okay, and this is the methyl cyclopropane. Okay, so this is the simple reactions. Next is the very important reaction seven. This is important. Ma'am, what is the mechanism of previous reaction? This is the simple reaction. What is the mechanism? Uh, no need to discuss here. This is the uh, alkene reacts with the methylene iodide. Basically, this is the catalytic reactions. 
so uh, i have not discussed uh, here the mechanism because it is the uh, beyond the limit okay if you want to discuss then i'll discuss in the class okay this elder reaction this elder reaction it is a conjugated addition reaction this is conjugated addition reaction okay. so dyne and dinophile reacts to produce the uh, cyclo hexane so dyne and dinophile so cyclic product is four for example dyne then it reacts with the dinophile this is dinophile picturing then the cyclohexene is formed so this is the simplest reaction of one three beta dyne when reacts with the ethene to form the cyclohexene okay um mechanics and the other examples i'll discuss in the next lecture which will about the hybrid mode so i uh, now i'll take the attendance uh, give you the attendance uh sandeep kumar singh yes ma'am aditya narayan singh ankit kumar present ma'am ankit kumar meena ayushi upadhyay are jab aaj jo padhe ho karo koi baat ayushi upadhyay uh बाजरो कोमल विश्वास प्रेजेंट मैम धनंजय सिंह प्रेजेंट मैम दीक्षा यस मैम हंसराज प्रेजेंट मैम जानवी सिंह कल्पना कुमारी प्रेजेंट मैम करण कुमार पटेल प्रेजेंट मैम खुशबू प्रेजेंट मैम खुशबू किशन लाल मनीष चंद्र मनीष चंद्र प्रेजेंट मैम ओके मोहम्मद प्रेजेंट मैम मोहम्मद बाकी प्रेजेंट मैम मुकेश यादव यस मैम मुस्कान अग्रवाल प्रभात रंजन यस मैम रंभा कुमारी रश्मि द्विवेदी मैम रंभा कुमारी प्रेजेंट ओके रश्मि द्विवेदी रुन्मी प्रेजेंट मैम संजीव कुमार यस मैम सौरभ अग्रवाल यस मैम शालिनी द्विवेदी यस मैम शानू गुप्ता यस मैम शिवम त्रिपाठी प्रेजेंट मैम शिवम शिवांगी प्रेजेंट मैम श्रेया पांडे प्रेजेंट मैम श्वेता चौबे प्रेजेंट मैम सिद्धांत विश्वकर्मा सुभाष गोस्वामी सुचित्रा प्रेजेंट मैम सुप्रिया प्रसाद प्रेजेंट मैम स्वाति प्रेजेंट मैम स्वाति राय वंदना कुमारी विशाल सिंह यस मैम अंकित कुमार नीता नीता कन्वर प्रेजेंट मैम राघव प्रेजेंट मैम आदित्य यादव यस मैम 
अखिलेश कुमार यस मैम अंजलि प्रेजेंट मैम अंकित कुमार प्रेजेंट मैम अश्विनी आदर्श प्रेजेंट मैम आयशा प्रेजेंट मैम लेबानूर जाधव यस मैम मुनीश कुमार यस मैम निशा प्रेजेंट मैम रजत प्रताप सौम्या सिंह सौरभ राय शिवानी का शुक्ला मैम श्वेता टुम्पा उत्कर्ष मैम वैशाली अभिषेक मौर्य आकाश कुमार अंकित चतुर्वेदी अनुकूल ओझा प्रेजेंट मैम हर्ष माता प्रेजेंट मैम वेदिता प्रेजेंट मैम प्रियंका कुमारी प्रसन्नजीत यस मैम संजीव यादव यस मैम सौरभ कुमार यस मैम शशिकांत सोहम डे यस मैम दिवेंदु घोष गरिमा शुक्ला कुमार अनुराग प्रेजेंट मैम नीतीश कुमार जयसवाल यस मैम रामेश्वर राय प्रेजेंट मैम रंजीत सिंह यस मैम सौरभ कुमार प्रेजेंट मैम विधि त्रिपाठी प्रेजेंट मैम अनिल कुमार सिंह प्रेजेंट मैम ज्योति 